Hey everybody. So uh, yeah, we are on the road again. We got entirely way too fed up with uh, with the heat in Tucson, southern Arizona, uh, pretty much all over Arizona. But we are in northern Arizona, and we're just outside Flagstaff, actually closer to Williams, which is that town that's right outside of the Grand Canyon. Right now we're off Dogtown Road. Uh, we're gonna be staying at Dogtown Campground tomorrow. Uh, but uh, we decided to come up a day early, so we just found a spot out in the woods, and we're gonna be camping here tonight before we go to that Dogtown Campground tomorrow. Uh, we're also gonna check out the Grand Canyon. Yeah, the only thing that's hanging out with us is uh, a bunch of cows. Oh, he's right there, see him? I'm, uh, I'm cooking up some grass-fed beef hot dogs, which we just bought this afternoon, realizing we didn't really have a dinner plan. And then we went home and I very quickly made homemade tortillas to eat them on. So um, that's dinner tonight. Not fancy at all, but it'll be good. Watching the cows. Right there, there's a cow. We're in the open range. Maybe he doesn't like the fact that I'm cooking up grass-fed beef hot dogs. Should have done pork. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. It was a very scientific method that I came up with to decide on where we should go to get away from the heat. Opened up the, the weather app on the computer, looked at the kind of the heat map of the entire United States, which is pretty much all red or orange, but there's some tiny little spots of, you know, green or yellowish. And it's like that, okay, that's where we wanna go where those other colors are. So it's actually super pretty, super quiet. And uh, temperature right now, I think it's 79 degrees as the sun is getting ready to set. So we're gonna get camp all set up, eat some food, and then rack out. Wow, look at that. Bright and sunny. Good morning, making coffee. It's uh, cool enough that you gotta wear the little, the light hoodie and, and whatnot, which is awesome. <laughs> All right, we're packing up and we're gonna head into to Williams, the town of Williams, and look for, uh, I don't know, maybe this cool place to get some breakfast. We gotta go get some supplies as well. So that's what we're gonna do first. And then I think we're gonna go up to the Grand Canyon. It's grand. So the Grand Canyon was awesome, you know, just like you'd expect. So we shot back down here to our campsite. We're at Dogtown Lake. Uh, interesting thing about the name Dogtown was I guess when they, this is a man-made lake and I guess when they made it, the huge population of prairie dogs made them call it Dogtown. So we've probably been here for like four hours, got set up and so this, uh, this campsite has a lot of like Western exposure. So it gets full sun, which is great for the solar panels, but not so great when there's a heat wave. It's tough when it's just freaking hot in, like we're over 7,000 feet in elevation and it's still 90, 
it was low 90s today. Like right now, it feels pretty good. It's probably about, what do you think, Carrie? Probably, 80. Yeah, it's probably like 80. Nighttime's gonna be 50s. So that's perfect. Last night, when we camped out in the, just in the in the forest, a few miles away, it was it was great. It was a little on the chilly side. So, Carrie's whipping up some vittles, and um, and then I think we're gonna go we're gonna go do a little fishing. Whatever. We suck at fishing so much that I'm not even gonna predict that we're gonna catch anything. You never know. Okay, what'd you get? I got a little lobster looking dude. I'm gonna flip him. Ready? I don't want him to keep struggling. There he is. Well, you know how to pick those guys up. Hey, hey. What's up, crawdad dude? <laughs> He's a good size one too. You wanna try to pick him up? Okay, how? You just get him you know, right. behind the arms on this hard plate. Oh, it's trying to pinch me. You look. Good job. <laughs> All right, buddy. Back at it. There you go. Peace out. Later, dude. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. All right. Is it the same one? You know, I come down here off the rocks. Hey. Let me get a picture, otherwise the kids won't believe it. Well, that was pretty awesome. Couple of biggies. And a crawdad. So, good times, finally, fishing. So, those were largemouth bass, by the way, if you're not a, a fish person. We're going to shut it down and hit the sack. Peace. How'd you sleep, Carrie? It's so good. No, not really. It's okay. Got up, had some coffee, and went down to the lake, checked it out. Had a chipmunk walk on my feet while we were sitting here looking for food probably what are we doing um i guess we're gonna pack up slowly so we don't get all hot and gross yeah. yep. and then what and then we're gonna head down back into the heat so the complaint that i think we both have about the heat is is just its airflow and we need to have more airflow for it to be, you know, comfortable when it's so hot out. So that's gonna be a priority for me. I could throw a box fan back there and plug it in to the inverter, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather, I'd rather have a 12 volt uh, fan or, or multiple 12 volt fans that really push air really well, that'd help a lot. Maybe do an event on the roof. Maybe, maybe that's a good way to go, but I, I'm not, totally decided on that. I want to be maybe completely sure about it before I start cutting holes in the top of the shell. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.